name is Greg Travers, and this is a Smart Swim Goggles. It's a heads-up display for swimmers. It has a display that attaches to your goggle. It's got a CPU that's running an Android operating system. It has a battery pack, buttons for controlling the interface, and a USB connection for downloading applications, Android applications, that render <coughs> to your heads-up display. The system has a onboard Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and uh, sensors on board for detecting the motion and position of the swimmer. And it's again got a USB interface for downloading applications. I'm going to show you here. This is a little demo of what this consumer will be seeing, but the, the image is a little small because the camera is a little far away. If you look carefully, you can see that's kind of what it would look like for a swimmer as you're looking at the heads up display. So, with that, it has a Wi-Fi interface, so if you can think about safety on an event or a course, uh, you could broadcast a message to all the swimmers in real time, and the message would stream across their display if they need to get off the course or if there's something about the training session that they're having that a coach could transmit to them through the Wi-Fi interface. Um, it also has uh, a GPS on board for uh, open water training. You can think of interval training in the open water. You could do 10 100s on a minute 30. And since you don't have to look at your watch, you have the heads up display. And the computer is controlling it all, so the computer will tell you when to start, when to stop. So you could do 10 100s on a minute 30. And basically, in any direction you want to go, it's like almost like doing a pool workout in open water. Um, also, uh, the Wi-Fi side of it we have a Wi-Fi camera it's a small camera can attach to the back of the swimmer's head so now the swimmer can see what's in front of them without picking their head up or they can see what's behind them with this camera and so now you're not no longer having to sight to see where you're going you see the horizon line with your head down so you're, you, you basically pick a direction you get uninterrupted swimming and visualizing in real time where you're going and where the next buoy is pool training and uh, lab swimming and we have the onboard sensors to track the sensors you can do labs uh, and it will record your workout and you can imagine downloading a workout from your online archive doing the workout and then the results that of your workout will get pushed back to your archive for the day maybe to share on your social media page or maybe to later analyze with your coach <clears throat> and also back to the, the Wi-Fi side of it for lab pools and in pool training or teaching someone how to swim if you have a Wi-Fi camera on the deck of the pool pointing at the swimmer as they're swimming the swimmer now sees an image of themselves as they're swimming and then it has Bluetooth audio as well so the coach or the trainer with an eye Bluetooth or the do mic can now talk to the swimmer in real time describe to them what's wrong with their stroke and how to fix what they need to fix all that's happening in real time now you're no longer stopping to, to talk about it you do it you fail you try again in this case, you're, you're continuously watching your stroke and trying to make changes as you are swimming. It's another feature with the Wi-Fi camera. <coughs> another thing that it can do is you can project virtual images on the swimmer's eyes, so you could have a virtual swimmer swimming with you. So if that might be your pace, your pace, a swimmer, or it might be your goal time for the season. So throughout training, that goal time is is constantly with you every workout. And so now you have this more better perspective on this is what you, where you want to be at the end of your season. So there's a lot of potential for the smart swim goggles. Uh, and once this technology gets out there, to see some serious changes in this, in this uh, industry. And with that, we had our uh, first event uh, with the smart swim goggles, was the Great Chesapeake Bay Swim. And I was fortunate to uh, be allowed to swim with this technology. Uh, essentially what we had was a, a safer swim in this buoy. And inside the buoy, we shoved uh, our battery packs. Uh, the reason we had to take our equipment on, on this event is that uh, once you get in the course, you can't get off the course with all the stuff that you have has to go with you. And our battery pack uh, needed the, to be charged, fully charged, in order to make the swim because it was an hour and 47 minute swim. So we had to take all the battery packs with us to the start line. When we were finished with that, we throw the battery packs in the Safer Swimmer. We had a GoPro camera on a Safer Swimmer pointing behind us and we had a second backup 
smart swim on the safer swimmers well just to be certain we were going to collect some kind of data set and the data set we got was awesome it's excellent and the images are great and hopefully uh you see some of that in, in the video and uh, essentially that was it <clears throat> and thank you for watching and i hope you uh, enjoyed my video okay real quick now this is the heads up display that i'm going to be looking at and i will see on my eye during the swim down here I'll be looking at the total yardage that's accumulated as we swim on the course and up here this is in the center of the HUD is the stopwatch at the time we've been on the course and that's off by about nine minutes because we didn't press the start button when the gun went off but that's okay um, and up here is the GPS satellite link icon and every time the GPS data is coming in, I can see this, this value cranking up. And so I know we got a good link to the satellite and we're, we're bringing in data. And essentially you'll see this heads up display throughout the video indicating where we are on the course and how we're progressing. Okay, and this is the GPS data set that we collected on the course. And up here you can see this yellow cursor. I'll be indicating that on the GPS data set throughout the course in the video showing you where we are. Uh, the data set was great, but imagine uh, rather than having the HUD display just numbers, we'd have like a GPS mapping you have in your car so that all of this map data would look just like your GPS point-to-point -point mapping and you would be able to see more, better, more clearly exactly where you are on the course, just basically following the GPS lines um, as you're navigating that course or any course. And so I'll show you that as well um, in the video. Okay, right at the start here, I'm kneeling in the sand. I'm trying to get all the equipment together and keep the sand out of the goggles and out of the hardware. We don't want sand in our eyes or in the equipment. Thank you, yeah, this is a camera and this is a heads-up display yeah, so for crazy. swimmers. That's awesome. So it renders an uh, image of a uh, GPS like on it. my eye as I'm swimming. That's cool. It's a prototype. It's the first of its kind. The SP base swim. Yeah, this is a heads up display. So, like, it renders any icons on your desktop, like your cell phone is on my eye. Wow. So I can see my GPS. I see the satellite link is hooked up. We're at 73, 74, 75. <laughs> yeah, and the yardage counts at zero. So, what's going to happen is I start swimming, the yardage count's going to go up. And then there's a compass heading that tells me north, south, east, west kind of thing. You're like Tony Stark. You Look out. Right. Yeah. You're James Bond. Either. <laughs> I'm Craig Travers. All right, Craig, Craig Travers. Travers. Craig? Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, great. Yeah. You guys have a great swim. You too. You do. Can someone like talk to you while you're doing it too? It has Bluetooth audio, yeah. So like it for, for coaching? Right. Yeah, sure. Wow. Oh, you're doing, are you doing video? Oh, uh, yeah, I have a video. Oh, awesome. You got, I was going to do this. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? I'm not. I, I'm, I'm not confident enough to yeah. swim. To well, I figured, you know, I'm just dragging it behind. Cool. I train with it, so why not? Oh, that's so neat. <laughs> yeah, I'll share it on the Chesapeake Bay page. Oh, you are? That's I will cool. if you want. Yeah, if you're up there. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, I'm the I was swimming here just to stay out of the mess. I guess you need to sort of do that too. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere to the second red buoy over there. That's probably the problem. It's hard to see those buoys when you get in. I hope I'm not going to be in your way though. Oh, you're not in my way. I'm going to probably hit, I'll head over this way, I'm so. That's all right. You know, you got to plan, I'm execute. Chill, yeah. <laughs> Right about now, we needed to press the start button, which would have synchronized our clock with the event clock. But that's okay, we were nine minutes off. Uh, there was a lot going on, and I really wanted to was focused on the heads-up display. I wanted to be sure that was working, and I had a good, clear picture of that at the start. If there was going to be a problem, I would stop right here and fix it. I didn't want to have to stop in the middle of the course. Okay, here the heads-up display is reading 93% battery power. It's at 11 minutes, which minus 9 minutes, which we had about 2 or 3 minutes into the event, and at 214 yards. That's just about right. We just had our first collision with a safety kayak. <clears throat> I was a little far to the left on the course, but never thought that was going to happen. Not today. So now we're just entering the course under the bridge, and I tried fixing the horizon line here but you can see the cameras going all over the place 
so uh, hopefully you won't get too sick or nauseated from watching this it was really tough to, to straighten this video out but as you can imagine uh, there was an awful lot of traffic right at this point in time as all the swimmers are funneled into this one point of entry into the course now this is our GPS reading once we enter the course from under the bridge and you can clearly see uh, our GPS data set looks really good for the entire course. This is our second HUD reading here. You can see we're at 542 yards. Okay, that was just a horn from one of the trucks on the overpat on one of the bridges above. Okay, this, at this point, the camera has flipped around to the front of the course. I tried hopping over what I thought was a swimmer in front of me. And in doing so, the, the system completely flipped around. And now you're seeing the front of the course. And you can clearly see the smart swim on the back of my head. And eventually, we'll flip back around and continue. Okay, there goes the second horn. Okay, here's your first shot of some green cap swimmers. That was from wave one. So they had two waves. Wave one went out first, and we're on wave two about 15 minutes behind. So we're starting to see some of the green wave swimmers passing us by. Okay, and here I have another near miss. They have a lot of those uh, in a course like this. You can clearly see that uh, I almost clipped the guy to my left. Uh, this hap has happened a lot on this course, especially with a thousand swimmers. It's just a lot of fun. I highly recommend this course. <laughs> a lot of challenges. This is a backstroke, or somebody's doing backstroke. A lot of times people, you'll switch to backstroke just to relax and stretch out. But it's highly possible this person was attempting backstroke the whole four and a half miles. <laughs> wow. Go get it. A lot of questions about a mile marker that's kind of moving out there. Uh, we'll go over that at the end. Okay, this is interesting. There's actually an island out here with growing shrubs and trees on it. Okay, this is the real mile marker to our left here, or at least it's an orange marker uh, to signify the course area. Okay, yeah, we're about halfway now. That's going to put us at about 3,500 yards or so. And you just heard more uh, pickup from the truck overhead. Uh, again, it's pretty magical this microphone's doing so well. Okay, yeah, so in swimming they have a process called drafting, which essentially is where a swimmer puts him or herself directly behind the swimmer in front of them and in close, which will allow them to reduce the drag in their body and fall in their slip and essentially makes it slightly easier for them to progress forward. The key is to stay in that position as long as possible to take advantage of the swimmer that's in front of you. Now that was an excellent drafting session for three plus minutes that swimmer got a really good uh, ride for a little bit of time there. Okay, now we're at 4,500 yards and we're well, well beyond halfway. 
and uh, we're looking pretty good. I can read the HUD pretty well, although I did have to develop a technique where I tilt my head to the side as the goggle with the heads-up display was slowly filling with water. But I still was able to read the heads-up display all the way to the finish line using this technique. Now things start to get real tricky here as we're closing in on the exit of the course. I didn't know where that was, so I started to hug the right side of the course, which is getting me dangerously close to these pillars, and you'll find out here in a bit uh, some bad things happen. Okay, so that was my first strike of the concrete pillar nothing like striking a lane line and again i'm desperately trying to move myself away from the pillars but the sunlight was directly in our eyes and it was really really tough to see the exit on this course oh shit yep and we just collided and completely stopped i struck my right hand directly into a concrete pillar and i mean this didn't just veer off this was a total it completely stopped me and my whole right side was numb for a little bit but we recovered and kept moving. And we continue to strike pillars, naturally. Finally, we exit the course at seven, and I can read 7,000 yards, and I'm feeling really good. And I'm thinking the finish line is near because we're looking for 7,700 yards, and this is the heads up display is still reading nicely. Okay, so we're really getting close now. We're like 400 yards to go. And I didn't realize, probably during this entire time, I could have been standing up. As clearly you can see back there, the swimmer behind me is effectively standing up. <laughs> Would have been a great time to start porpoising or even use that to your advantage. Done. Here we go. I beat the battery. Oh, <laughs> you good? You good? Take it over here, Cal. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Anyway, You're here. awesome. Let's get the chip. Sure, yeah. The heads up display was reading 60% awesome. power left, right, which was awful close to shutting down. Yeah. <laughs> this was a backup plan. Oh, you did, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, the images, the pictures worked out. You guys are great. That was impressive. Oh, so thanks. That thing. I saw you out there. Oh, did like you see me? Yeah. Following you for a while. At first, I thought you were a mile marker. And I thought, oh no, you're pulling away. <laughs> yeah, this thing's moving. Yeah. Okay, quick demo for you. Once again, thank you for watching my video.